What is the cost of waiting? This topic was contributed by a viewer of this channel. At a recent meeting with this viewer, a discussion topic came up and that was there were going to be two consecutive new EC projects coming up. And these two EC projects were pretty close to each other not just in terms of physical location, but the launch dates was just six months apart. And the discussion was this, there'll be buyers out there who might be able to make a purchase for either project, but they would like to wait for the second one to launch and see how it goes before making a final decision. And given that past trends indicate that prices tend to move upward for every successive project, the question was, what is the cost to a buyer to wait and see the second project? Is there a way to quantify that cost. This is what we're going to explore in today's video and these two EC projects are Altura EC and Lumina Grand EC. And although these two are new launch ECs, the ideas that I'm going to explore in today's video will also apply for new launch condos as well. And before I jump into the numbers, it's useful to go through some quick background information on these two projects. Both Altura and Lumina are located side by side, bounded by Bukit Batok Road, Bukit Batok West Avenue 8, and West Avenue 5. Altrua's land plot was sold on the 8th of March 2022 and the project launched 17 months later in August 2023, selling 61% or 220 units out of 360, achieving an average of $1,433 per square foot. Lumina Grand's land plot was sold on 13 September 2022 and that's about 6 months after Altrua's land plot and the project launched 16 months later in January 2024, selling 53% or 269 units out of 512, achieving an average of $1,464 per square foot. Now, it's crucial to keep in mind three key observations that will help us in the later analysis. Because they are located side by side, these two projects share a lot of the same locational attributes, be it proximity to schools, accessibility, or amenities nearby. Lumina Grand's land plot was sold at a cheaper rate than Altura's and it's perfectly logical that buyers out there may be thinking that it's worthwhile to wait because there is a slight chance that Lumina Grand may be sold at a cheaper rate than Altura. And due to the 15-month wait period for new EC projects, the launch timeline for these two ECs were pretty predictable and most buyers knew that the second EC project would launch about six months later. All of these three above points contributes to a wait and see approach. And I'm going to attempt to quantify that cost of waiting across these six months from Altura's launch to Lumina Grand's launch. This map shows the unit layout in Altura and Lumina Grand EC. To make this comparison as fair as possible, we will need to choose two units of the same size, same facing, and at the same level. And so it will be a unit in stack 5 of Altura and stack 2 of Lumina Grand as they are both 980 square feet in size and they both face the same direction. On launch day, the unit in stack 5 of Altura was priced at $1.407 million and the unit in stack 2 of Lumina Grand was priced at $1.45 million. So at face value, there is already a difference in price that will contribute to that cost of waiting. However, there are other components such as the loan and the buyer stamp duty involved Involved. So let's put in those numbers and see what result we are going to get. And for this case study to work, we are also going to need some buyer profiles and income values to work with. I'm going to explore two case scenarios that will translate into different costs of waiting. Let's assume the buyers are each 34 years of age each drawing $8,000 of income with one month bonus. Six months later, their age increases to 35 years old and they're still drawing the same income of $8,000 with a one month bonus. And assuming a 4% interest safety factor for calculation purposes, their loan tenure remained at 30 years. And this means their maximum loan eligibility for a new EC is $1.064 million. Now, in the first scenario for unit price at $1.407 million, the loan is capped at a maximum of 75% of the purchase price and this means their loan is $1.055 million. This puts their net cash and CPF outlay at $351,750 with a corresponding buyer stamp duty of $40,880. Six months later for the unit price at $1.45 million, their maximum loan will be $1.064 million corresponding to their own max loan eligibility with a net cash 
cash and CPF outlay of $386,000 and buyer stamp duty of $42,600. So as a summary, for these buyers who retain their max loan eligibility for a new EC at $1.064 million across the six-month wait, for a change in purchase price from $1.407 million to $1.45 million, the net cash and CPF outlay including buyer stamp duty increased from $392,000 to $428,000 and Correspondingly, their loan amount increased from $1.055 million to $1.064 million. This means that their cost of waiting for their cash and CPF outlay has increased by $35,970 over these six months, and that translates to an increase of $6,000 per month. And this means we have our first value, the cost of waiting for this couple across that six months is $6,000 Per month. Now at the same time, because their loan increase, if we assume a 4% interest rate, their monthly mortgage payments also increase by about $41 per month. But that will only happen at the very end of the progressive payment schedule. Let's do one more case scenario, this time with a reduced loan tenure. So now let's assume the couple starts at 35 years old and six months later, their age increases to 36 years old. This means that their eligible loan tenure will decrease from 30 years to 29 years. And correspondingly, their maximum loan for a new EC will also decrease from $1.064 million to $1.045 million. And so, for a purchase price of $1.407 million, the figures all remain the same as the first case scenario. However, in the second purchase price of $1.45 million, with a lower max loan at $1.045 million, their net cash and CPF outlay now increases to $405,000 with a corresponding buyer stamp duty of $42,600. And if we now put in all of these numbers together as a summary, for their net cash and CPF outlay, instead of the earlier $428,000, it is now $447,600 with a reduced loan amount from $1.055 million to $1.045 million, which means for this couple, their cost of waiting is now $54,917. And this translates to our second figure for the cost of waiting for this couple, it becomes $9,160 per month across that six months of waiting. However, the upside is that with a lower loan amount, they are now actually paying $50 lesser mortgage payment per month. Although that still means they have had to put in more upfront payment in cash and CPF. And so as an overall summary, the cost of waiting for this couple with no change in loan tenure is $6,000 per month over six months. And with a one-year decrease in loan tenure, the cost of waiting becomes $9,000 per month across six months. So what then is the takeaway for this entire exercise? It's definitely not to encourage viewers to jump in at any project launch without any due consideration for financials or project attributes. But on the backdrop of ever increasing prices, an interesting thought experiment to quantify the cost of waiting if you as a buyer today is already ready to make a purchase. If you have any suggestions on what other topics you might want to see a video on, please send them my way and I'll see what I can do. Till then, take care and I'll see you in the next one.